Taco Chill Kitchen this morning. Thanks to uh, Discovery Newport. Mary Weaver is here. Uh, Newport Cooks is the is the place, and we've got some uh, sake steamed kombucha and sesame kale rice bowl. That's what we're gonna make. Nice job. Nice well. job. Nice job. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks this for is, having me. This again. is actually your first first uh, go at it in our in the new kitchen. In the too, new kitchen. Which is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. This as is well. fabulous. So um, if someone's watching and they're like, all right, what is that? Can you explain what we're gonna make? Okay. You know what? I, I've got to say I had a Sam Sifton moment moment the other day okay. um, when uh, I got the call, hey Mary, can you be on the road show? And I never turn the road show down. Sure, I love, thank you. love being Thanks. on here with you guys. So I said, I'm going to make something up. Okay. You know, so uh, this is something that I just, it's, it's a recipe without a recipe and it's got a really long name because I wanted to name off some of the things that are in it. Right. But um, this is, uh, you want me to tell you what's in yeah, it? Yeah, let's right? go over the ingredients okay, okay. let everybody know. So um, we're using um, a kabucha squash. It is not kombucha, which is the fermented drink, okay. but kabucha which is a Japanese squash. Um, you'll find it at the farmer's market. You could get it at Shaw's, at Stop and Shop. Mm -hmm. um, it's readily available, but it is kind of a fall winter squash. Um, we're using kale. Uh, we've got uh, scallions. We're uh, going to steam our kabucha squash in sake. Um, we have Thai uh, bird's eye red chili peppers, eggs. Uh, let's see, that sesame oil. Uh, this is for our dressing. Fresh ginger, got that at the farmer's market. Some toasted sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, soy sauce and then um, to uh, garnish our dish we've got some black sesame seeds. Okay now the, the squash is it is it Tastes like regular squash? Is it more like a pumpkin? Or, you know, it, it's funny. It looks it, more like a pumpkin well, than it does anything else. I, I, mean, I was hoping, I was thinking, fall, yeah. some orange colors. Right, right. So um, this has a beautiful, bright orange interior, okay. like a pumpkin, but doesn't necessarily have the sweetness. It's more. It's kind of a cross between maybe an acorn squash, a carnival squash, okay. a little bit like a butternut squash. Right, we'll has some, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to give this a try. We'll put this together and also talk about how you can be part of New Newport Cooks as well. Back to you. Thanks. For now. Yeah, there it is. We want to send things back into the kitchen where Will awaits. I'm telling you, Mary Weaver's here today. She's like dancing around this kitchen, going from one place to another. I'm like, where did you go? Uh, Newport Cooks is uh, is here this morning. Uh, Mary Weaver's uh, sake steamed kabucha and sesame kale rice bowl. That's what we're putting together. This is kind of a recipe that you were saying. You kind of just put together and kind of made this up. Yeah, are you familiar with um, Sam Sifton's uh, New York Times cooking? Yes. Um, fabulous recipes, but he has a whole theory or, or, or premise where you, you just make recipes up. Right. Um, we all have a certain amount of uh, knowledge in our heads and you look in the fridge and I, I, I liken it to, um, uh, what is it, what's the house that they're redoing, the Brady house? Sure, the Brady um, house. What, what was big when the Bradys were around? We're casseroles. Right. So this is the modern day casserole. Just this kind of putting is, things together. Yeah, figuring out what's, um, so, so obviously, um, I look at the farmer's market, mm -hmm. what's fresh? So kabucha squash, um, Japanese squash, it's like a pumpkin. Um, you open it up and cut That's it up right. like a pumpkin. This is it right here. Yeah, 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 um, got that chopped up. Um, one thing with squashes um, that so many people have a difficult time with is uh, getting into them, um, yes, opening is, them up. That really is, it really is hard to, to And you've got to be it careful, up. it's dangerous. Right. I mean, you know, if you're really muscling something. So um, if you put your squash, a butternut squash, a kabucha squash, even like a pumpkin, mm -hmm. um, into the microwave for three to five minutes. Make sure that you score it so that it doesn't blow up in the microwave. Um, well, but, well, be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that will soften the skin so that it's so much easier that to cut through um, as well as to peel. So um, I peeled these, but with a kabucha squash, you want to keep a little bit of the green on. Um, part of the idea of a, of a rice bowl or a grain bowl is for it to look beautiful. Mm -hmm. You want it to look pretty. So oftentimes these might be leftovers that we're making things with. Right. So, um, Will, if I could get you Sure. to start making the dressing. Absolutely. Um, this is a fresh piece of ginger, and I just wanted to show you this. Um, you can get this at the farmer's market, but I've already um, diced some up. Okay, so, so um, we're going to let that, we'll, we'll let this go, and then we will we'll put together the, the dressing in just a little bit as well, and also talk to you about uh, Newport Cooks, okay? Fabulous. All right, sounds Thanks, good. Will. Back to you. <laughs> They're heating up in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Wednesday morning, and why wouldn't they be today with Mary Weaver joining us? She always brings it, as the kids say. <laughs> That's too She's doing funny. a great job right here. She, of course, is from Newport Cooks, and she is making, and I've gone over the pronunciation, so I'm going to take another stab at it here, sake steamed kabucha and sesame kale rice bowl. Correct. All right, I'll see you later. That's it for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Where are you in the process? You've um, been hard so, at work. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to soft boil my eggs, and it's really important. 
important when you soft boil eggs that you set the timer, which is why I was you know not what? paying attention like, to you. I, I was over here texting. No, no. I was <laughs> setting the timer for six minutes so that these eggs will come out beautifully um, golden yellow in the center. And, and part of a rice bowl or a grain bowl is that it looks pretty and, and, and that you're creating art. So I want those centers to be just perfect. That's why I chose this kabucha squash as well. It has the beautiful orange color. Kept a little bit of the green on the edges. Now we are going to um, get this going again so that you can do the honors of <laughs> adding some sake sure. to this. So about three tablespoons. Go ahead and put that in there. I've sauteed this with some bird's eye Thai chilies. You tell and me you then, still say when, right? Okay. And little for me, little for the ball. <laughs> I'm going to say when. I'm going to say when now. All right, okay. there we go. Um, I'm, we're going to steam this in sake, just giving a little bit of a, a sweetness and that rice flavor. So kabucha squash, um, I told you I made up this recipe. Yeah. Um, it's a Japanese squash. So I thought we got to have some Japanese influence. So the sake, the um, bird's eye uh, chilies. Um, are going to give it some sort of that, that, that Japanese uh, flavor to it. Yeah, and authenticity, if you will. Absolutely. But you really hit on something there when you said you made this up yourself because that kind of is what it's all about, creating, yeah. innovating, uh, innovating, trying to think of a, a new way to, to do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, at the cooking school, yes. I am constantly, I mean, we use recipes. Mm -hmm. um, so you come to class, we're going to learn uh, chicken cordon bleu. Um, so there's basic techniques and things you're going to learn about that. You're going to learn a sauce. Um, who's to say you couldn't take that sauce and pour and it all over your body? Put, oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> and uh, do something else with it, like put it on a grain bowl, perhaps. Um, well, joking aside, there are many options for how to present it and maybe tailor it to your liking. Absolutely, absolutely. And and that's what this is doing. So I took the squash, the Japanese influence, and decided to do um, a, an Asian-influenced uh, grain bowl. This could have been a Mediterranean-inspired mm -hmm. grain bowl. It could have been a, a Latin-inspired uh, grain bowl. And I see lots of greens, lots of veggies. I mean, this is going to be healthy as well, I would presume. It, this particular one is going to be uh, primarily plant-based. We have eggs. We have the soft-boiled eggs. Sure. So um, what I'd like for you to do, though, if uh -oh. you've got a moment, um, if you'll put together our dressing. I have um, until 10. You have until 10. <laughs> Good. Um, so uh, this is some um, uh, minced uh, fresh garlic. Um, if you'll add the rice vinegar, the soy sauce, the sesame oil. Wait a minute. Slow down, Mary. <laughs> Slow down. This one first? Uh, no, no. So you pour all of this into here. Oh. <laughs> and then you're going to put the top on and give all it a good shake. shake, shake, shake. So empty all of the whole thing. Everything into okay. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. You got you it. You know me. I'm a kitchen neophyte. Oh, I yeah, just try to. That's why I put it all in little color-coded bowls. God bended. bless you, Mary. <laughs> Newport cooks for those unfamiliar. Familiar. Tell them what it's about. Um, we offer cooking classes for children and adults. Sign um, me up now. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, yeah, you'd be great. So, um, have you ever had toasted sesame oil? Um, it, did actually. you notice? Oh, have you? It, it, it's got a ton. It's all going so well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a ton of flavor. And, um, oops, other side, other side. Or it's there gonna all go all over the place. You got it. Yeah, like you didn't want to see that. Okay. okay. Just, just like your your bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna create an emulsion there. Mm -hmm. um, emulsifying. You are emulsifying the dressing exactly. Nice. A variation stuff. of the word. But you were saying we can sign up, right? You can sign up. Sign Great. up. Uh, go to the website, NewportCooks.com. Um, we have after-school programs for children. Um, I'm going to get a fork out. I want these to be fork oh, tender. Oh, that smells so good. Doesn't oh it? my oh, God! This yeah. stuff, I could drink this stuff. Yeah, it's, I actually I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it is so good. Um, usually, when I make that dressing, I make a little extra um, because it goes so well on other things. Um, and that's what I do. So when I say a green bowl, this is something where you could get the leftovers in your fridge, and you're going to create um, three components, four components. It usually has a rice or a grain component. Mm -hmm. I've got some um, brown rice uh, cooking back here. Mm -hmm. um, I also, if you're, if you're, you know, you need a quick meal, mm -hmm. these things, the mm. little packaged um, rice, quinoa, right there. Um, you know, that, that makes it so easy to have a grain component, mm -hmm. um, a, a vegetable component, um, the eggs, uh, and then this, the uh, kale. So we need to massage our kale. So you've got your dressing. Yep. Keep, put the top back on. Okay. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, let, don't let anything happen to that. Um, <laughs> So that's what we'll put on the top. Um, the kale needs to be massaged. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to do just a dash of sesame oil and some coarse salt. So dash of sesame oil. Are your hands clean? How about you handle that? Okay, okay. Um, I, I'm a filthy wait, person. Wait, no, Mary. you're not. No, you're not. I mean, you were just out on the set. Though. So I, my hands are clean. I am going to massage this kale. So this is some Newport sea salt. It um, is actually uh, farmed down in Newport. Uh, I say farmed. They get the seawater. and. Sure. Uh, 
But as I'm watching it here on the monitor, I mean, this is very simple to do, breaking it down for very us step by step. Simple. No one has to be intimidated out there. And if they come see you at Newport Cooks, they can learn even more. Absolutely. Yeah. Where can we uh, get more information online? Uh, online. Uh, the website, uh, newportcooks.com, mm -hmm. um, is where all of our classes are posted. The best thing to do is to uh, get on our email list. Awesome. I send out an email once a month that tells everyone what's happening. Um, we, we do the classes, but um, I was going to say another thing that fills up our schedule is corporate team building. Um, right. We have a lot of groups come in and um, did you know making pasta from scratch? You know, years ago I went to a, a pie <laughs> uh -oh. baking class with a friend and it was not that, you know, that's dessert, but whatever it may be, preparing something with another person is really a great equalizer and a nice way to bond with somebody, Absolutely. if you will, whether and it's a work or a friend. you got to get it done. Absolutely. So, so uh, just like at work, you got to get her done. That's right. Well, Mary <laughs> is going to continue to get this done. If you guys would like the recipe, of course, or to learn more all about what's happening with Newport Cooks, this is a great thing. You can learn so much. You can register for classes, like she said. Just visit us. Thank you for being here, by Thank the way. Thank you, Brendan. At roadshow.com.